Hey guys and welcome to my channel Appalachian Home Co and to another video. So I am continuing some fall crafts today. I'm going to be making some wood door hangers. These are the round ones and I haven't made a wood sign video in quite a while so I thought you guys might enjoy this video. I'm just going to take you along with me and show you everything I'm doing as I'm making it. But I have all the materials that we're going to need already laid out so I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to be using today. Some of these came from Hobby Lobby some of the materials um, like the ribbon came from Michaels so all this is easily accessible and easy for you to find if you want to recreate these so let's go ahead and get started working on these door hangers I hope you guys enjoy this video okay so I have first of all this little hello fall 3d sign this came from Hobby Lobby and it was half off I think they are still half off it was $3.99 so I only gave two dollars for this so I'm gonna use this for the big round sign I'm gonna be doing. And then I have these round wood trays. I'm actually gonna use these as signs, but these come in a three pack and the price was $18, but this was also 50% off. Actually, I think these were 40% off, but either way, it comes with three different round woods and one of them is 13 inches, um, 14 inches and 15.3 inches so I'm gonna be using the larger one for the front door and then I'll be using one of the smaller ones for the back door so I have these two that I'll be using kind of like this together and then I have an assortment of paints so I have some maroons and navies and just oranges, all kinds of fall colors here. So I'll go through these and see exactly what colors match my ribbon, which is what I'm gonna get to next. This is the ribbon. I got this at Michael's. I love this ribbon, it's so pretty. I got an inspiration pick on Etsy or Pinterest, I can't remember. But if not, I love this. This is actually a navy color with some rust orange in it. So I'm loving that. And then I found just a regular rust covered ribbon that does have some sparkles in it. So I'll be using that and also this plaid rust and beige color. I thought would go really good all of these together. And then I have some florals that I'm going to be adding as well. These I got from Hobby Lobby. They were half off. So these were $3.99, but I only gave $2 for these. And then these little pumpkins I also purchased um, half off too. So here's all the things that I'm going to be using. I'm also going to get a paintbrush or a foam brush. Um, so I'm going to kind of design this out and lay it out and see how I want this to go. This Hello Fall is 12 by 13. So this is going to cover up the entire 15 inch circle. So I think I'm going to use this with the 15 inch circle. I decided to use a rust color on this Hello Fall. So I'm just taking a Waverly pumpkin color and I'm mixing that with a Tuscan red because the pumpkin color was really bright. So I wanted to darken that down a bit to match the ribbon. Now I'm going to be using the larger sign and I'm just going to paint it with a Waverly ivory color and this is a chalk paint and I'm trying to use a foam brush on it but you may want to use a little bit bigger brush when you're doing this project. And now I'll be using that rust color that I just mixed up and I'm going to paint the hello fall part of the sun and then we're going to put everything together. I'm also going to show you in just a second how I made the bow and then we'll attach the greenery. I'm also going to take off this little hanger that came with it but I'm going to use that so if you take this off you can put this on the back of your sign to hang on your door so be sure and save this part if you are using this wooden cut out.
Now that we have the painting done, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make the ribbon. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and make the bow for this. I'm gonna make a medium size bow. I'm going to use um, five inch bow loops. I'm going to start off with the solid color and then we'll make three bows with each color, but I'm gonna put them all together. So I'll show you how I do that. Let's start with the orange color first. So first I'm gonna measure up six inches to create that first tail on my bow and just create a little pinch. Then I'm gonna measure 10 inches to create a five inch loop. Once I have the loop pinched together, I'm just twisting the ribbon towards me to, to make sure everything's facing the right way. And then I'm creating another 10 inch loop. And then to finish it off, I'm just cutting off a six inch tail on the end. You can use whatever dimensions you want, but this is just the bow size that I thought would work good for this size of sign. And I just kind of maneuvered the loops around to face the correct way until I thought they looked good. And I'm just gonna create two more bows just like this using the other two ribbon. I'm just gonna hold this first bow in my hand very lightly just to make sure it doesn't come unraveled. You don't have to pinch it too tightly. But I'm just gonna go ahead and create two more bows exactly the same way. Now I'm just gonna hold all those bows in my hand while I take some wire and tie around them just to hold them together. You can use floral wire. The only thing I had was this craft wire, but it worked just fine. Then I just take my bows and twist them around the wire just to make sure they are all secure. And now you can just play around with this and move your loops and move your tails until you're happy with how your bow looks. And something else I'm gonna do to this bow is to dovetail the ends. You just wanna pinch the ends together and start at the folded side and cut back at an angle toward the corner of your bow. And that's gonna create these cute little dovetails that just finishes off your bow. Now we can go ahead and assemble everything. I'm gonna give this just a dry run. So I'm going to kind of place everything where I think it needs to go before I actually glue this down. Once I have that done, then I can go ahead and start permanently attaching everything. So I'm laying out the wooden hello fall first and then I'm gonna put down my florals and then I'm gonna put down my bow. This is just gonna help you place your wooden cutout so that you can be sure um, you can see all of it and your bow's not gonna get in the way. So once I have everything placed the way I want it to, I'm, now I'm gonna start gluing everything down. And I totally forgot to put in the clip where I actually glued down the Hello Fall, but I did take some wood glue, Gorilla Wood Glue, and just paint on the back of that Hello Fall and stick it right back into place. I'm gonna cut off the ends of these florals just so they don't stick out past my sign. So I'm just using some scissors, but if you have wire cutters, which I do have somewhere, these would probably work better so you don't dull your scissors, but I'm just gonna cut those off and I'm gonna be using a staple gun to staple these on. On this particular sign, there is a frame. If you saw in the clip, where I showed you these trays, there's actually a thick part that goes around the outer edge. I am stapling to that thick part. I am not stapling through the middle, you'll see here, because the middle is thin, kind of like Luan board. It's only about an eighth of an inch thick. So make sure that if you are stapling your florals to this particular sign, you staple to the thicker part. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue stapling these and then we will attach the bow. To attach the bow, I'm actually using the wire that's left on the back and I'm just gonna attach it to the florals. I'm just 
placing the wire under those florals and then just wrapping it around everything so that it is secure. You can go back and staple your bow or you can glue your bow, but I thought this was just the cleanest way to attach this for now. And then after I get my bow fixed in the way I want it, I'm gonna go just slide those pumpkins in and attach those at the end. And finally, I'm just taking my finger and hanging the sign the way I want it to hang on my door, just finding that center point. And once I find that point, I can now attach the string so that the sign hangs perfectly when I hang this up. I am loving how this turned out. I cannot wait to make more of these. I am going to make a second one and I'll probably post a pic of it on my Instagram or my posts on this channel. And I also cannot wait to start making Christmas ones of these. So hopefully I'll be doing more videos on those later. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed this little sign tutorial. I have lots more ideas and videos coming up this month and I hope to see you guys back again very soon in my next video.